Welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. I am here today to show you how to make an easy breakfast cheese danish that is super, super easy and very yummy, and it definitely makes a lot. So if you have some company coming over or if you are going somewhere and bringing something for a breakfast or a brunch, definitely make this and take this along with you, and I guarantee you it is going to be a hit. So we are going to be making an easy breakfast cheese danish. So some of the items that you are going to need are two cans of ready to use refrigerated crescent rolls. And I use the Pillsbury ones. I pick those up at Stop and Shop usually. You also need two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. Whatever cream cheese that you like, you can go ahead and pick up two of the eight ounce packages. I picked up these in a uh, package of two. It was cheaper than getting the individual ones. You're also going to need one cup of sugar and a mixing bowl. I have a medium mixing bowl here. You're also going to need one egg and one egg white, which I do not have out here to show you. And you are also going to need some baking vanilla or some pure vanilla extract. And I have Pam here because I spray the reusable pan with the um, pan spray so the crescent rolls don't stick to the bottom. And right now I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I recommend using a 13 by 9 inch pan if you have it. It seems to work out great, especially with these Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. So the first thing that you're going to do is open one of the Crescent Rolls and open up the whole package and lay it completely flat on the bottom of your 13 by 9 inch pan. So right now your pan should look like this. The crescent rolls do come with a little bit of a um, cut in them. So you may have to use some gloves, wash your hands, but make sure they are um, completely closed because we are going to create a filling with the cream cheese and we are going to layer it on top of here. So it just seems to fit perfectly. I believe this is a 13 by nine and a half. Um, but this seems to be a perfect size. So now that we have our first layer, we're going to go ahead and we are going to make our filling. Here in this medium size mixing bowl, I already have my one cup of white sugar. I'm going to go ahead and put in my two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. I'm going to add, also add in my one egg and then also one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. There are my two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, one egg, and one teaspoon of the pure vanilla extract. So now what we're going to do is we are going to beat the cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and the egg together until we have a smooth mixture. You can do this with whatever you would like to use um, for a baking utensil. I like to use the automatic. Um, so what I'm going to do, very slowly mix everything together. You wanna make sure that it's very smooth. Your 
your mixture should should end up looking like this here very smooth you don't want any lumps of any sugar or big lumps of the cream cheese bar and if you have to you can let your cream cheese get to about room temperature before you go ahead and make this recipe it is a little bit easier if you don't have any of the automatic kitchen tools um, so I already have my first layer in here and I did fling a little bit of sugar, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this entire bowl of mixture in here and then on top of here, I'm going to lay one more layer of the crescent rolls here. Our mixture is poured in and I spread it around so the complete layer of the bottom is covered and now I'm going to go ahead and open up this last roll and I'm going to lay this completely flat just like the first layer right on top of our mixture that we just laid in. Here is the top layer to our cheese danish. So now um, what you can do if you would like a nice crunchy top to this, you can add, um, you can take an egg white and you can brush a little bit of egg white on top of this. It will make it golden brown and crispy. The first time I did it, um, I cooked it for about 35 to 45 minutes. Really just depends on your oven, but try 35 minutes first. It did get a little bit darker than we would prefer. So I'm going to try it without it this time, but if you wanna go ahead and give it a try, you can add egg white to the top of this and it makes it just a little bit more crunchy, a little bit more golden brown, and it gives it a, a darker look to it. So now I have everything together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my preheated oven. Um, remember my oven is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put it in for about 35 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to check on it and give you guys an update. I also have some glaze that I put over this when it's finished. So I'll give you guys the recipe of that and you can check that out as well. All right, everyone, this is 38 minutes after putting the cheese danish into the oven. You want to make sure that the top is a nice golden brown, and it is okay if you can start to see some of the filling around the outside. It does change um, as it bakes, but it should be done. Um, most ovens are between 35 to 45 minutes. So make sure you guys check this out. It is super, super yummy and it does make quite a bit. Now, some people like a nice glaze on the top of theirs and if you would like, you can make your own at home. It is super easy. All you need are three ingredients. All you will need is a half a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And mix all of that together. It will create a nice glaze for you. And you can pour it over the top of the whole thing. Or if you wanna keep it on the side, as people take what they would like, they can put um, the their own amount on. It is completely up to you but that it makes a nice glaze. And I like to let it cool down for at least about 20 to 30 minutes before I serve or before I glaze. So um, let me know in the comments section down below if you will be trying this out. It is super, super yummy and I guarantee you, you'll end up making it again. And most times people add in like strawberries and blueberries. Once they get the hang of making this because it's so easy and so quick, Quick, they start to put their own twist on it and add some really yummy ingredients. This is the um, straightforward version. Very, very easy. You don't need a whole lot to make it either. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see more of these videos? Please give me a thumbs up. Always comment down below and share with your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, make sure you guys have that notification bell on so you do not miss out on a single video. Thank you.